Alright, hello guys, hope this is uh, working, this is Pete again with his second video um, And if this is actually working, I'd like to give a big shout out to these guys uh, Nigel at Healy 100 Austin Charlie Mack Greybeard Walking Big Charlie at Charlie, Charlie's Model Garage And Bush at BK Model Cars for encouraging me to do um, more vids, thank you for your support guys, I really appreciate it, I've yet to get a tripod so it's all going to be a bit wobbly, but hopefully here we go, um, I might be doing something, I don't know, um, so this is my 32 Ford um, Roadster, it's in a, a red chili sort of pearl, um, I've had to change all the front suspension on this because the kit was actually the McDonald's type Roadster and it's not, not, not a very good model. Um, so I've got the suspension uh, off of another car and I've made new shocks and new link rods, arms, uh, track, uh, tie rod in there and drop link for the uh, new steering. As I've moved the steering arms out to the actual hubs, as it's not accurate on the first kit. Um, hopefully, this will work out all right. Um, I've got the bodywork there, you know. And there's the main main body for it. I've got quite a reasonable shine on this. It's not 100%, but you know. And I'm now rubbing it off a bit to put on a a pinstripe and chrome on the hinges and handles. Uh, this is the obviously the bonnet for it, and I want a sort of hot side hinge that so as it topples away from the engine. Yeah, and the side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> This is the uh, back end of the car, the uh, rear suspension. Like I said, it's from a different different car, so or a different model completely. And here again, I've put in. If you can get that. All right, I've put in brake hoses, uh, made new shocks for it, and uh, added these wheels. Got to touch in these tires a little bit, but I don't want it to be show. I want it to be um, road, you know. So I have a bit of scuffing on it. Well, not exactly scuffing, but you know, a bit of grime. Uh, this is the interior tub for it. Which I've uh, the foot pedals moulded in, but I've sort of cut around it a bit to um, to give it a bit more dimension. And put in. New handles, uh, new pedals, uh, seat belts I'm working on at the moment. I'm going to have one fastened and one unfastened. And I've made up handles for the inside there out of a bit of ang angle really. Just trim it down and paint it chrome. Uh, that's the interior tub. And I've got a tan uh, canopy to go over it. Still working on that, really. Might make it a bit darker. Uh, over here, I've got the uh, radiator, which I've tried to get a sort of Ford emblem in into there, but you know, I haven't got a decal that small. I've made a, a piston-type gear lever, gear gear change lever. I mean, that's, is it going to focus any more on that? No. And two drop tile lights. I know it's a bit old hat, but, you know, you've got to have some traditions in these things, haven't you? Uh, it's going to have lake pipes, which are these ones here, and I've drilled out the end to blacken that, get a bit of depth to it. It's not really showing on here, is it? No, it might show better against the white. 
But anyway, I've drilled out the ends of there a little bit. So I've got two of those. Uh, I've got the... This is a steering wheel, obviously, that I've made for it. It's uh, like an alloy billet steering wheel. This started off with several layers of plastic. I've uh, brought down the size of, of a, a busted up steering wheel. So I've just took the rim from the steering wheel and made a, an alloy insert, a billet insert. And then if it doesn't stop waving around, this is the actual dash. And I've uh, used decals from a company called Fingerprint which are aimed at 135th trucks, but they're about the right size for this and gives you a speedo, ammeter, voltmeter, you know, all pressure gauge. So I've drilled that through and tucked them through there. Um, I've stolen a, a matometer to go on. I think that's, well, that, I know that's what they're called. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I've drilled the, the top hole in there. Top hole, that's very English. Can't find it again. Right, to uh, actually drill that through and then put a needle. It's not really focusing on, on it. I think, quite frankly, the weave of the fabric's bigger than the needle. But, uh, you know, it's drilled through and there's a couple of lenses in there. I wonder if I'll get it really to zoom in. Uh, you can see the light through the end of the tunnel. And uh, my mirror's just falling off onto the floor. As they do. There's a little rear view mirror that I'm going to mount on top of the uh, dashboard. Uh, over here I've got the uh, NG4 it. Uh, I've sort of like added uh, alternator wiring. Uh, spark bug wires, throttle linkage, coil wiring, you know, all that sort of stuff. Still got to paint that plug lead or the coil lead yellow. Um, what else is there? The fuel pipes going down through there. I'm not too happy with that bottom water hose because it started fraying as I was fitting it. It's a bit of a bugger. Oh, well, there you go. And alternate a mounting bracket holding that in, in place because I can't stand seeing uh, alternators at funny angles and, you know, your belt would run straight off. So I'm trying to keep that level and just made a little bracket underneath it. So that's all gone out of focus. There you go. So that's a little little motor for it. I think it's a Chevrolet small block. You guys in the States will be able to tell me better. Because um, I don't know. It's all lumps of plastic to me, really. Um, in the background, I've got uh, some of the stuff I'm building for my garage. Because we all need a, a garage. Let's keep these cars in. And this is a sort of like a bead breaker. And it does operate. It's foot operated, but not with my great big finger. And this is all out, just scratch built out of scrap. I mean, this is a, the box section out of the chrome sprues and a and a centre ring. You know, that's basically how it is. Looks industrial, looks the part. Um, same with the jack. This came out of a T-Bird NASCAR kit. I just took it all apart to make it operate properly and put metal pins in it so as it had more weight on the actual jack part because they just fall over backwards, and, you know, otherwise. So there you go. Um, my young lady over here who's helping me with all the electrical gubbins on all of this. I don't know anything about it. It's all, it's all uh, double dutch to me. And I'll round that off there and... 
Ah, there is me going out again. Uh, hopefully this has all worked. Take it easy, guys, and see you soon. Oh, that's not in focus, is it? All right, there you go. Bye.